Hi guys, the purpose of this video is to show you how to use a multiple tower to solve division. I started with a story problem to help us put the division problem in a context that makes sense. So we're going to be working with the problem 92 divided by 4, or how many times does 4 go into 92? So I came up with this story problem to help me understand what I'm being asked to do when I'm asked to divide 92 by 4. So this is what I came up with. My mom and I baked 92 cookies on Saturday for my birthday party. We are going to make treat bags. How many treat bags can we make if we put four cookies in each bag? Well, in class, we practiced doing a problem similar to this where we sorted apples into four, and we found out that that just wasn't effective. So what I want to show you is a way that we can use what we know about multiplication to help us solve more complicated division problems rather than using tally marks. So I have here the problem 92 divided by 4 and 4 into 92. I made this array model to show what's basically going on. This array has a total area of 92. I know that one of the dimensions is 4, but I don't know what the other one is. So essentially what I'm doing is I'm solving the problem 4 times question mark, because I don't know what that is, and it's going to equal 92. So the factor is 4. The other factor I don't know yet because I haven't figured out the answer, but I know the multiple is going to be 92. Remember the factors are the numbers that you count by, the multiples are the numbers that you land on when you count by that number. So that tells me that if I count by 4's, I'm going to land on 92, hopefully, or I might get really close. So what I did was I created a column for the t-chart to describe this is how many treat bags I have in this column. So if I had one treat bag, how many cookies will I have used? Four. Now remember, mom and I baked 92 cookies. So I'm going to keep putting them in treat bags until I get to 92. So here's two. I now have eight cookies. Three treat bags, 12 cookies. Four treat bags, 10 cookies. Five treat bags, 20 cookies. Oops, excuse me. Six treat bags, 24 cookies. Seven treat bags, I've used 28 cookies. Eight treat bags, 32 cookies now. Nine treat bags, 36. 10 treat bags equals 40 cookies. Do you notice anything? How are the number of treat bags related to the number of cookies? Well, this is 1 times 4 equals 4, 2 times 4 equals 8, 3 times 4 equals 12, 4 times 4 equals 16, 5 times 4 equals 20, 6 times 4 equals 24, 7 times 4 equals 28, 8 times 4 equals 32, 9 times 4 equals 36, 10 times 4 equals 40. So let's keep going. I still have, I had 92 cookies and so far I've only put 40 in a bag. So 11 treat bags, 44 cookies. Same pattern with the times table, 11 times 4 equals 44. 12 treat bags, 48. 13 treat bags, 52. 14 treat bags, 56. 15 treat bags, 60 cookies. 16 treat bags, 64 cookies. 17 treat bags, 68 cookies. I'm getting close, not quite up to 92 though. 18 treat bags, 72 cookies. 19 treat bags, 76 cookies. 20 treat bags, 80 cookies. Oops. 80 cookies. Um, you can always tell that when you're counting by a number that ends with a 5 or a 0, your number over here is going to end with a 5 or a 0. That way you won't lose track. Um, I also know that 20 times 4 equals 80, so that can help me as well. So now let's go on to 21. 21 treat bags, 84 cookies, getting close. 
22 treat bags, 88. 23 treat bags, 92 cookies. So that tells me that it's going to take 23 treat bags to put 92 cookies inside treat bags if I put four in. So that means my answer is 23. 23 treat bags is how much I'm going to need. So now I have another one. Let's try together. I've got 76 divided by, excuse me, 78 divided by 6. So let's make a story problem so that this makes sense. I want to think of something that I'm going to share. So let's say that I'm sharing some Snickers bars. I have 78 Snickers bars and I want to share them with six friends. How many Snickers bars will each friend get? Okay, so now I've got my context and I can set up my story problem in this T-chart. So I know that I have 78, which means I'm trying to get the 78 broken down into groups of six. So this would be, in one side, I would have, I'm just going to make that a little bit smaller, groups of, and in this case it's Snickers bars. This would be groups of Snickers, and on this side over here, we ha would have the total number of Snickers bars. Let me just make that a little bit smaller so oops, so it stays up above the bar and you can still see it. So we have groups of Snickers, total number of Snickers bars. So that means if I had one group of six, one group of Snickers, one group of six, I would have used six Snickers bars. Now remember, multiplication and division are interchange are reverse operations. So that's going to help us because I know that I'm looking for six times something to equal 78. So here I'm doing six times, one times six doesn't equal 78 yet. So I gotta keep going. So let's try two. And if I had, let me make that a little bit smaller. If I had two groups of Snickers, I now have 12 Snickers. Three groups, three times six equals 18. So now I have, let's try four groups. Four times six equals 24. And I just want to line these up a little bit better so that I can tell my 2 and my 12 go together. It's real important to keep your work neat when you're working on this so that you don't get confused with what you're doing. So now I'm going to count by, let's try 5. 5 times 6 equals 30. So now I have 6 times 6 equals 36. 7 times 6 equals 42. 8 times 6 equals 48. Now again, I just want to kind of organize myself here because my, my numbers are getting spread out. So I'm just going to slide them up so that they match up and I'm keeping my workspace neat and organized. Okay, so now I've got nine groups of six, and nine times six equals 54. All right, next up, 10 groups of six, which equals 60, because I know 10 times six equals 60. All right, let me scroll down my page a little bit. My tower's getting long. Now I've got 11 groups of six. That's 66. 12 groups of six. 72, 
and 13 groups of 6 equals 78. Awesome. So that means if I wanted to share these Snickers bars with six friends, how many Snickers bars would they each get? Well, hopefully you're thinking that they're each going to get 13. That would be a nice friend to give your, your friends 13 Snickers bars. So 13 times 6 equals 78, which means 78 divided by 6 equals 13. All right, now it's your turn. Use a multiple tower to solve these problems below. Remember that we're practicing using this strategy, so I want you to use the multiple tower, and I want you to record your work on a different piece of paper. Good luck.